People around the world report seeing something that scares them. Something actually pushed me from behind. And they say they've got the evidence to prove it on video. It did it again. In photographs. On audio tape. <laughs> Voices that seem to come out of nowhere. I mean, I can hear that. You can hear that. Does brand new state of the art technology finally give us answers? This is again another opportunity to scientifically prove your existence. Monster Quest investigates one of history's bloodiest crime scenes. Mrs. Borden had received 19 hits to her head. In what's been called the most haunted house in America. You gotta listen to this. I would consider them to be spirit voices. Witnesses around the world report seeing monsters. Are they real or imaginary? Science searches for answers on Monster Quest. More than a third of Americans believe in ghosts, that spirits of the long departed linger in the world of the living. I actually felt something brush between the lower parts of my leg. We heard footsteps right above us in the hallway in the kitchen. Out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw something blue passing me. And all of a sudden, my legs, which were draped over the side of the bed here, just started picking up on their own. Many of these paranormal incidents have been caught on film or video. Did anybody move back and step on the wall? This man says an unseen hand moved his video camera in a haunted house. You can hear and see that there is something physically moving the camera, but it doesn't appear on the camera. I can see several anomalies. Uh, moving left to right, up and down. Right there. Hmm? Uh -huh. This man Look. says his camera filmed ghosts on a Civil War battlefield. Look. There's nobody down there no more. A television newscast reported this amateur video might have captured a paranormal apparition right in the middle of the Vatican Basilica. And right in front of the tomb here, it's all clear, and there'll be a ghost coming up. You heard correctly, he said ghost. And the strange blue figure has become known as the Blue Ghost of Parma after it was recorded on an Ohio gas station security camera and broadcast on national TV. Technology captured this evidence. Can science authenticate it as paranormal? Monster Quest gathered together the most compelling evidence out there to be analyzed by experts for clues to its authenticity. So this is the sofa on which Andrew was killed. But Monster Quest will also generate new evidence, investigating what may be one of the most haunted places in America, the Lizzie Borden House, using the highest resolution thermal camera in use today. Um, we're gonna have to aim for this. All evidence will be submitted for analysis in a search for proof of the paranormal. Can't make much of that. A paranormal eyewitness may in some cases simply report feeling the presence of a ghost. But in the rarest cases, the spirit is a full-blown apparition consisting of a misty human-shaped presence, visible one minute, then gone the next. One of the most striking paranormal apparitions ever captured was shot on a Civil War battlefield in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. We just couldn't believe what, what we had saw. We kind of figured it was paranormal. The Underwood family shot the video at a place called Triangular Field in the fall of 2001. There's another spark. You see what I'm What's saying? What's that? Looked like shadows or uh, something moving yeah. actually through the trees and, and on the field. No. Right there. Hmm? Uh-huh. Look. There's nobody there. They claim these are ghosts crossing the battlefield. Uh, yeah. They was actually moving in so many different directions. We just couldn't believe that we had, had captured this. 8,000 men died here over three days in 1863. 
their battered bodies littered the fields. I really believe that it was actually uh, soldiers and horses coming up the field actually for a battle. Michael Goldsworthy, a former police investigator, will use state-of-the-art software to enhance this footage. The Ocean Systems detective package actually clarifies video and brings out details that you normally wouldn't be able to see. And more detail could provide new clues to prove its authenticity. The search for proof of the paranormal will also utilize audio evidence. This is the voice of a ghost, according to this investigator. It was captured using a technique called electronic voice phenomenon, or EVP. There's answers to questions, there's um, voices that, of loved ones that you can identify with. Al Rauber has been investigating paranormal activity for 40 years. He says the EVP method is simple. Ask a question and record, and voices will fill the silence that follows. Uh, sounds that aren't audible you know, when you're doing the recording, but when you listen back to the recording, there's uh, voices. Critics say these voices may be coming from radio broadcasts or that people are imagining a voice amid white noise. But for those who believe, it's not imagination if it's on tape. My son died in 2004. He was 16 years old and hearing from him was the most amazing thing I've ever encountered. Debbie Caruso is a New York woman whose teenage son died in an accident in Mexico. Soon after, she tried using EVP to reach him. I was really excited to hear that we'd be able to speak to them and didn't believe it. She used a simple program already in her laptop computer. It takes time and training, and to, and, but after you record for a long time, the voices get louder and they get stronger and now anyone can hear them. My son Joey left me this message on his 20th birthday. It says, Ma, I love you. Trying to communicate with departed loved ones is nothing new. In the 19th century, seances run by mediums became a hugely popular way to try to reach the dead. But with the introduction of the camera, gathering tangible evidence of the paranormal now became a science. I mean, it's one thing for someone to start talking in a different voice or, or, or alleging that they're, they're channeling someone in, in that way, but it's quite another to see something tangible. Early paranormal photographs displayed everything from floating heads, shrouded figures, and even mediums exuding paranormal goo called ectoplasm. While most early ghost photos were fakes, this 1936 photograph of an apparition on a staircase in an English estate is still talked about today. The Brown Lady of Raynham Hall was arguably the most famous ghost photo ever. The house had a reputation for being haunted. And when it was developed, they had this sort of human shape. Taken over 70 years ago, this photo continues to cause controversy. People have checked out the negative, said it's on the negative, so whatever it was, they absolutely got a picture of it. They become legendary for being real pictures of ghosts, and that's all that ever happens. You really rarely read any technical detail on any of those photographs. But today, the technical detail needed to properly analyze paranormal evidence exists. Dave Manganelli is a paranormal investigator with nearly 30 years of experience. Ready, Al? Yeah. He and Al Rauber will lead the search for new evidence. That search will take place in Fall River, Massachusetts at the Lizzie Borden House. Location of the sensational double murders of Lizzie's parents, Andrew and Abby Borden. They are just some of the spirits witnesses say they've encountered here. The Borden case is really interesting because it was the crime of the century. Back in August of 1892. On the morning of August 4th, 1892, Abby Borden was upstairs in the guest bedroom. 
The killer entered and approached her from behind, carrying an axe, using it to strike her again and again, until she was dead. Downstairs, Andrew Borden had returned home and lay down to take a nap in the parlor. Someone approached the room, axe in hand. The first blow struck him in the head. He may have awoken to see his attacker, but it was too late. Again, the axe fell over and over. Lizzie was the prime suspect but was acquitted at a trial that mesmerized the nation. And now, more than a century later, there are regular reports of strange things happening in this house. There is a lot of voices, footsteps, sounds, objects moving, things like that. My first personal experience in the house here was not long after we had purchased it in June of 2001. 